All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at the top 10 animes that will truly terrify you. I haven't seen that many scary animes, to be honest. I think uh, the one anime that I think is going to be terrifying will be Usumaki. Don't know when the anime is coming out. I hope it doesn't get delayed another year or something because I really want to see that anime. I also have the manga behind me. You guys can see it now, but it's right behind me. And it's a great manga, so I can't wait for the anime to come out. And let me know down in the comment section, what's the scariest anime you've seen? In this video, we're going to take a look at the top 10. Uh, like I said before, I haven't seen any scary animes. I think the one anime that has been a little bit like, ooh, not scary, but the character looked kind of freaky was Demon Slayer. Some of the demons look pretty creepy. But beside that, I haven't seen any scary anime. So we're going to take a look at this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know what video you guys want to see. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. <laughs> no! Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 anime that will truly terrify you. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at anime that is sure to not only make you jump, but it'll also haunt your dreams. Which anime gave you nightmares? Let us know in those comments. Yo, that one below. looks freaky. If there's another anime list you want to see, go to my Twitter at AshJBo. Shout out to Ashley for this video. I don't even know you, but Number 10, thank you for that video. Japanese Ghost Stories. Japan is well known for its many urban legends and myths. In Yamishibai, a number of these spooky tales are told through the Kamishibai style of storytelling. I love this style, it is kind of creepy, the style. Each episode, an what the fuck? In a yellow mask recounts a handful of these stories to children on a playground. Yo! Some of these short, short stories are great for a quick scare, while others are genuinely horrifying. Oh, the sound. Since most of these tales have become well known throughout Japanese history, the series will also teach you about its lore and culture. From ghosts to a disturbing taxidermy museum, you're about to get shivers down your spine. <laughs> Number 9, Happy Sugar Life. Damn. How far would you go to protect your own happy sugar life? This doesn't look scary at all. In the case of Sato Matsuzaka, you may even commit murder. Sato has not had an easy life, and when she meets the adorable Shio Kobe, she decides to adopt her. Sato is so in love with Shio that she's willing to take down anyone who she perceives as a threat to her relationship. Their relationship is downright toxic, and it's Sato and many of the other characters' behavior that makes this series so disturbing. Sick Sad Life would be a much more appropriate title. Number 8, Woman Yo. Fingers. Sometimes the most petrifying the moments can happen within the blink of an eye. Yo, this title is messed up. Woman who stole fingers. This four minute short, which is made up of charcoal like sketches to add to its eerie tone, follows a young boy and his mother who have a very sweet relationship until the son's fingers turn out to be worms and slither away from him. Naturally, this isn't very comfortable for the little boy, made all the more unsettling due to the absence of dialogue or what music. The, the short is an interesting is... commentary on overprotective mothers. Woman Who Stole Fingers has a very different take on what makes a happy ending. Number seven, the flowers of e This one, this um, oh, this this one was weird, bro. It reminds me of the same style of Uzumaki, but what makes this a little bit more creepy is the, the charcoal effect that it has on it. It, it, it's, it doesn't draw like really neat. It's like a little bit uh, clumsy the way it, it, it was uh, drawn, which makes it a little bit more creepy. Also the sound effects, the way the fingers were falling. Oh man, the first one and this one. Evil. Poor the creepiest. just wants to read Charles Baudelaire. Alas, one day he impulsively decides to steal the gym clothes of his crush. I saw it. Kasuga-kun was in the middle of the night. 
Unfortunately, another girl catches him in the act and blackmails him into a contract where he's forced to do whatever she tells him. The series is not drawn traditionally. Instead, the director used rotoscoping because he felt the manga was so close to real life. Okay, interesting. <laughs> While some anime fans didn't like the final look, the style actually adds another creepy element to the mix. It's a twisted character study in the vein of an Alfred Hitchcock film and not to be brushed aside. <laughs> Number 6. Parasites not to be confused with the award winner, Parasite takes place in an idyllic Japanese town until body snatching aliens appear. These creepy crawlies can take over a human by scurrying through an open orifice. When one of the parasites fails to enter high schooler Shinichi, it attaches itself to his arm and gains independent sentience. Oh. Surprisingly, both he and the parasite keep their own personalities. Together, they team up to battle the monster is threatening his loves. The series questions what it means to be truly human, which is a concerning enough thought by itself without adding in mutation murder machines from outer space. Number five, another. The oh. Best news you can receive. How can I forget this anime? The first anime that I've watched. The very, very first anime that I truly watched from beginning to end when I started. This anime, it, it's, it's creepy in a different in a different way. This anime is just gory, I would say. And also creepy in the sense of this girl. I'm not going to spoil anything for those of you who haven't seen it. Probably all, you, all of you guys have heard of this anime. But this girl, her role in this show is so... How do I explain it? Like she's she's not creepy, but she is creepy. She's just being herself, but being herself is just extremely creepy. And also the way people die in this show, the things that happen, the story behind everything is so freaking messed up. But I did love this show. I know a lot of people don't think of this as a great anime, but I definitely enjoy it. Not only that, not only because it was the first anime that I watched, but also because of the story itself and the way they portray everything that happened in it. Eve as a transfer student is that your class is cursed. That's what happens to Koichi. <laughs> Though he should have known that things were wrong from the get-go. A mysterious classmate who always wears an eye patch, the class carrying on like a dead student is still alive, major red flags. Oh no, are they gonna show it? And then the killing starts. While oh. it does have some horrifying moments, it's also an unpredictable puzzler that will keep you on your toes. Yeah. You don't know who is going to get done in next and how they're going to meet their gruesomely creative end. <laughs> Number 4, Midori Ko. It took the director 13 years and approximately 30,000 drawings to complete. The result? A dystopian thriller that will creep the hell out of you. Drawn in sepia tones, each frame is composed of ghastly images. The film itself follows a vegan living in an apocalyptic version of Tokyo. She creates a vegetable baby that is designed to end the never-ending famine. <laughs> Unfortunately, everyone wants to eat the veggie before it can be harvested. The film's trippy visual style only adds to the strangeness of the story. At times, you may not be able to fully understand what you're looking at, which somehow just makes things worse. Yo, this is already confusing. Uh, it, the, only this little, uh, this little piece of this uh, of this anime is already uh, confusing and just trippy. Do this, this is creepy. <clears throat> Number three, Devil Man the Birth and Devil Man the Demon Bird. If you go to a club and people start transforming into demons, it's probably time I'm to out. go home. I'm if gone. Akira, fuse your soul with a demon and become a hybrid on the warpath.
Okay, the drawing style is kind of sick. Devilman goes on to try to save his fellow man in a wry commentary on superheroes, one that doesn't skip out on graphic content. Both OVAs delve into Acura's suffering as he contends with the monsters in the hearts of mortals as well as Hell's minions. <laughs> There's death, there's torture, and none of it is quick and clean. Despite That's nasty. Over 30 years ago, the film it gives me a little bit of the Yu Yu Hakusho style. If I'm saying it right, by the way. Number two, Perfect Blue. It goes to show that fame isn't all it's cracked up to be. 90s. After leaving a J-pop group, Mima decides to pursue a career as a serious actress. Unfortunately for her, one of her fans is not happy about her career change and begins to stalk her. Between the stresses of being stalked, taking roles on she doesn't want, and the danger that comes from the internet, Mima slowly starts to lose her grip on reality. <laughs> With her warped perspective making it impossible to discern between fictional and actual danger. What the hell? Yo! The horrors presented mirror modern day life is beyond unsettling and somewhat prophetic. <laughs> You can make a movie out of this one though. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Yeah, we will. Have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On your phone, make sure to go into your settings and search on Tanagashi is an idyllic countryside village. Garashi when they cry franchise. Hinamizawa is an is this one is still running? Village. Children play together during the charming Watanagashi festival. <coughs> Everything is fine and dandy, except for the fact that questionable deaths keep happening. <laughs> the franchise follows a group of kids as they try to solve the village's longest held mystery, only to end up completely corrupted by it. The series is not for the faint of hearts, with multiple time loops allowing for each member of the cast to either lose their lives in a vicious manner or become the monster of the story and go on a killing spree. Exactly a pleasant slice of life. What the fuck is that? Did you enjoy this video? Well, there you have it, guys. Some of the I, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Some of these animes were kind of freaky. Some of them were a little bit eh, okay. But uh, the one with the vegetable was kind of trippy. The one uh, with the woman who was stealing fingers, that one was even worse because it was the drawing style made it a little bit more creepier. But all in all, there were kind of a, uh, there were a couple creepy animes in here, and I'm gonna give some of them a go. I already saw another. I'm still waiting for Uzumaki. I'm surprised it wasn't in here because, oh yeah, makes sense. It's not out yet. But uh, yeah, I did enjoy this video. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, if you guys did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know other videos you guys want to see. And as always, I will catch you guys tomorrow for another video. Take care and peace.